All right, so I got the wheel off and I'm going to spray it down with this. I have to show you. This citrus strip. I got this from Home Depot. If you ever need to remove some paint on something, this stuff works great. You want to make sure you don't leave it on there for too long. I put it on a piece of plastic on the 2005 Mercedes Benz C230 and it actually cracked the plastic on the back of it. I left it on overnight. And. And I was like, man, I should have just left it on there for like 30 minutes. So you just want to try to take this, put it on the inconspicuous place for like 30, 40 minutes, see how it does. I mean, you can leave it on there for like five minutes, wipe it off, see if it's coming off. And this will get the paint off where it'll just peel off. So what I'm going to do is spray this whole rim down with this stuff, leave it on for like 30 minutes. Then uh, come back and see what it looks like. You know, it should take a lot of this paint off see what we're dealing with and go from there. We'll go ahead and just shake it up. I think that I guess you gotta mix it really well probably. Uh, yeah, it says let it sit for about 30 minutes. So, you know, shake it up. We're gonna get the spraying. And get this rim clean. You gonna get it all in here. Yeah, you want to make it look wet. And this is the reason I want to take it off. I didn't want to mess up anything with the brake system or anything else behind it. I think the rub would be fine. And uh, let me just get it all up in here too. Yeah, this is, this should be fine right there. I'm gonna flip this. Get this other side here. Yeah, you can see where it's. I guess that's pitting. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I think that's just paint. Yeah, I see paint or painting. We're gonna find out. But this is definitely paint peeling right here already. So we're gonna get all this off, get as clean as possible. See what one rim does. I'm let this stuff sit. Be back. Okay, on this 2008 
Dodge. Go ahead and be placing these sway bar bushings because I was getting a little bit of side to side, like it would rock a little bit. Not bad, but it was noticeable. And here's the part number, the old one. And I found this off a, of, I think it was the Amazon or eBay. It was like 20 bucks for a set. So, and I could tell like this one is actually starting to kind of crack and stuff. And it seems just like it's wore out to me. Um, so hopefully that'll help with this side to side play. Go from there and get that side broke loose. Looking a little straggly, but and UPS just stopped by. I'm like, what did my wife buy now in this big old box? And I have forgot. Here, it's the front ballast. See that all the way in there for this dodge? That's all cracked in the side right there. And I got a good deal, man. I'm gonna put a link down below. I got this for like 30 bucks shit to the house, man. So that's a good deal right there. So, I mean, you can't beat that. You can go ahead and unpackage it and throw it on right there. I found that these little, I don't know you call it, these little pushing things. You just grab like a little pair, of, you know, dikes or something. You could pull these out. That's how the other one came out. <laughs> but uh, let me work on that. Okay, so the trick is pair of pliers and pull it out well, got the rear wiper blade uh, working on getting this installed gotta clean this little nut up real quick and uh, eight bucks you know I can't beat it